Hello everybody and welcome to the Lathrum channel. Today we are going to be talking about a question that I've gotten on more than one occasion. Do I use UV maps? Do I make my materials from scratch? Do I download my materials or do I use something else altogether? Well, the answer is all of the above. For those of you who are wondering what I'm talking about, when it comes to 3DS Max or even Maya, because I use both in her, you know, back and forth, uh, there's a lot of times where I will have to throw down materials. Almost all the time. Unless I'm doing a solid gray render, but that's a completely different story. So, what do you do to get these materials? Do you create all of them from scratch? Do you download them? Do you. You know, what do you do? Well,. I will tell you straight off the bat, UVs I don't really play with unless it's going into a game engine or unless uh, there's specific decals or artwork that requires the use of UV wraps. Other than that, generally I don't really play with UVs. They are a little bit of a pain in the butt. Even if you've been doing them for a long time, they are an absolute annoyance, mainly because they take forever. Granted, yes, some of your smaller and simpler scenes you don't have to worry about as much. However, when you get into very large complex scenes with, you know, thousands and thousands and thousands upon UV faces, it's just an absolute mess. But, aside from that, I also make a lot of my own, you know, materials. I save them. I use them later on depending on if, you know, I could reuse it or not. It always comes down to something like that. I also go out on the interwebs. I look and I search for different materials, and sometimes I'll download one and, you know, see where the original poster has, you know, started going, and then I'll just sit there and fine-tune it and tweak it and make it and hybrid. You know, it's not really mine, but it's not really his or hers. It's kind of like a mix of mix between the both. And finally, I also do have Sigur Shaders, which I do use. Now, don't get me wrong, it's not one of those things that uh, is for everybody. Some people consider it cheating, just like downloading stuff, in which I somewhat understand that, but at the same time, hey, look, half the stuff that I uh, get off of Sigur Shaders, I end up tweaking and fine-tuning myself but it gives me a very good base starting point. Even if I do use it, who cares? I mean, it's one of those things that it's getting exactly what I want in a relatively short amount of time. Why not? I mean, granted, it's not exactly cheap, but I guess that's what you're paying for. I mean, on the upside, it's not exactly outrageously expensive um, I will throw the link into the description for those of you who actually want to look it up and see what the prices is maybe buy it and all that other good jazz uh, if memory serves me correctly for the V-Ray uh, material preset pro package for max you're looking at it about I want to say it was 140 pound or uh, no I'm sorry 140 euro uh, which quick math I want to say that's about $155 or thereabouts, uh, U.S. So it's not exactly outrageous. I mean, I've seen crappier products out on the market for more, more money. I mean, it does a really good job of what I want it to do, and it helps cut down time. Now, you can consider it cheating all you want, but to me, I'm sorry, time is money, and... I need to try and save as much time as I possibly can because I am juggling four or five different things all at once. So with that being said, if I could take some of the time and cut it down where I don't have to sit there and spend four hours making just materials, I could utilize a lot of materials that I've either used in the past or that I've gotten off of six shaders or found on the internet and kind of tweak, made my own. I'd rather do that than you know, sit there and make them all from scratch. It's not that I'm incapable of doing it, it's just it takes too damn much time. 
But that's all I have for today. I've already went way past how much time I wanted to spend on this, you know, little topic. But if you have any questions, concerns, comments, feel free to drop them in the comment box below. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe this, er, like, share, and subscribe uh, to the video and to the channel. And until next time, I'm going to get out of here, and I will see you guys next time.